Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jimmy. Welcome my friends to a video. And yes, again, we are doing some more Swift and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use, utilize JSON in Swift. So here we have it. We have my GitHub here, which is the GitHub. Yeah, my GitHub. And I actually forked this framework called Swifty JSON. This is what you're going to be using to utilize the JSON so you can extract JSON from external sources. What JSON is used for is actually getting data from an API or an external source of some sort, or even a local file. It doesn't matter. So anyways, what you're going to do is actually download the zip here, and you want to just want to download that piece right there. Boom! And then yeah, I have already downloaded it, and it's right here. And you're going to want to go into source and Swifty JSON, and just want to drag that, drag it, and drop it into you, into your uh, what's it? Your project. Let me open up my project. And here is actually, I've been working on an app that actually uses a lot of JSON. So I'll probably show you that after. I'm just gonna make a single view application and we're just gonna name it using JSON. Create. So going to over to our file exploit here, you're gonna want to just drag and drop this with the JSON file. You just want to drop that into this piece, this bitch. There we go. So now your Swifty JSON file is now inside your project and now you can start using it. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, the JSON is for what we're going to be doing. I'm actually going to be using NS URL, URL session and what that pretty much does is just retrieves uh, data returned from a URL so the URL that we're going to be using is hmm I'll probably just use it from my news app and just a sec Just use this here. Just use that. And this is going to be the URL. This is actually part of my API that I was using. It's actually the um It's actually the New York Times API and it just returns news. It just news headlines and everything. So I'll probably just put this in the description, maybe, or something. But yeah, then you're going to want to go back to using JSON. And now we're going to want to set up just a global variable here so that we can use it. It's going to be called let base URL equals. Business. All right. So I'm actually going to do this in a function just so it's cleaner like that. And this base URL. Actually, no function. Let's call it get JSON. So that's going to be our function. And let's Swifty JSON equal JSON. This is using your framework now. Actually, before we do that, Sorry, we're gonna want to do let URL equals nsurl named base URL let request equals nsurl request from a URL of URL named URL. Then we're gonna do want to do let session equals nsurl session, and you want to configure the session with default session configuration, and we're gonna let the task equal session dot data task with request and completion handler, and this is gonna be our request 
this is going to be our block. So we're going to return the data, a response, and an error pointer. So here, if error is no, then the program was successful. Else, uh, print there was an error. Okay. So now, what you're going to do is this is the part where we actually use this Swifty JSON file. We actually extract all of the contents from that file and use it in our main program. So let Swifty JSON equals JSON. Get the, we're going to get the data that was returned from the NSURL request. Then say we're going to return the first headline shown in this uh, file. So we're going to have a we have a result which is returning an array and we have a section, subsection, title which is actually what the name of the article is called. And so that's what we're going to return in this example. So we're going to say let the title equal Swifty JSON at result because see here result. Okay, am I retarded or something? Can I not spell result? Results. So you see here, we're, I'm referring to, re, I have results there and I'm referring to this query here. And so I can actually get inside this array. I want to return the first thing in the array. So returning the first thing in the array means zero at zero. And then I'm going to return the title. And that's going to be dot string value. So now I can actually print this out, print the title. And that should print the title when I return it. And also before we start this, you actually gonna want to do task dot resume. This actually just starts this session dot data task with request. And make sure you call the function inside the view did load. Because I've done this multiple times and I've been like, oh no, what's wrong? And I just never called the function. So <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much the JSON. Let's see if it works. Just let this load up. Uh oh, there was an error. Hmm. So I did get this error, which means clear text HTTP. Oh, this this is this is annoying. I don't know why Xcode seven point two did this, but whatever. I have it on my stack. I'm pretty sure I have it on my stack. Um, favorites. Um. Um, let me see. HTTP error in Swift. Yes, okay, this is what you have to do. Okay, so to fix this problem, you want to want to go into your info.plist and you want to go to Hmm. 
do we not have this? Okay, then I guess we just copy this. Whatever, V, like so. Now it's over true loads. This is at the yes. So that sh this should work now, I'm guessing. Ah, yes, success. There is your thing. There is your freaking uh, parse JSON. And actually, if you want to return all of the things that we have, all of the titles in this array, because results is an array, instead of putting at zero, uh, we can do that, but then just pass it as an array value. Then you can just do your simple for loop or map through the array. For this, I'm going to actually just do a simple for loop just because it's easier to show. Uh, for title in the title. Like so. And then you can just print out title. Like so. Let's see if this works. Oops, I guess that's not working. Let's see if this works. What the heck? Hmm. So it's actually returning a null value. Nah, you don't want to do that. Actually, yeah, do do that. The button didn't do let the title uh let titles equal title at uh, title dot string value then print titles let's see if this works I have no idea if this is gonna work or not I'm just trying to work around this error because I just I don't I've been a while since I've done JSON but let's see what the fuck is going on here? Okay, so this is printing everything. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. There it is. These are all of the titles. But it's also... Okay. Let's just get a clearer view of what's happening here. There we go. So there we have it, guys. This is... Here's all the titles. These are all the titles. Start with New Year's partying, prepare to play, and everything. Bill Cosby, uh, yeah, these are all the titles, guys. So yeah, that was JSON, and you can also do it from a um a local file. So you can actually do go to file, other empty file, and make a JSON file. But uh, for this video, I'm probably making another video. I probably won't do it because I still re don't really know how to. But uh, we probably just use like an NS bundle path for resource or file path with name or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and peace.